Leading lady Anne Hathaway has a sexy new look on the cover of Glamour magazine and talks marriage and her important work with One Billion Rising for their new January issue. We have all the highlights in this Pop Sugar Rush brought to you by the new Thin Light HP NV4 Touch Smart Ultrabook with Intel Core i3 processor. This cover look is a far cry from the dirty rags Anne Hathaway wore for her new role as Fantine in Les Mis. It looks like the actress, who is already garnering Oscar buzz for the film, decided it was time to show a lighter side, and we don't blame her. She rocks everything from her short hair to her short shorts in what is a very fresh photo shoot for a Glamour magazine. And it sounds like Anne is still on cloud nine from her recent marriage. I feel like I've found my other half, and I'm so excited about getting to love him for the rest of our lives, is what the newlywed said about her husband, Adam Schulman, to Glamour Magazine in a very candid interview. She went on to say that she would never have gotten married if it weren't for him. She also discussed how she takes pride in being an actress who earns the roles she's given with hard work as opposed to the amount of Twitter followers you have and the drastic transformation she took on for her role in Les Mis. Hathaway decided to grace the cover of Glamour to help promote the One Billion Rising campaign, of which she is the new spokesperson. The event takes place on February 14th, and the organization is inviting one billion people, representing the number of women on the planet who've been in some way abused, to walk out of their jobs, schools and homes, and just simply dance. We applaud her involvement in this important campaign and don't think Anne could have summed it up better than when she said, a billion is too big because one is too big. The new issue of Glamour Magazine will be on stands December 11th. And for all your Anne Hathaway updates as we approach the exciting release of Les Mis, just keep turning to Pop Sugar Rush.